Uh, my thoughts on Toys R Us. Well, I think the difficulties that the high street are suffering are, are, are well known. Um, and Toys R Us you know, was caught in that perfect storm. Um, it obviously suffered hugely from online competition from the likes of Amazon. Uh, similarly, it suffered from changing shopping habit habits of the consumer from possibly going to bricks and mortar stores to buying online. I think the retailers that suffer most from this competition are the ones that don't have any of their own brands such that they probably are visited by consumers who want to look at the products, but then they'll go home and search online and probably buy that product from the cheapest available supplier and have it delivered to their door. Um, so that's been cutting the turnover of the retailers, but at the same time, they've been suffering from some significant cost increases. Uh, it's well known that the business rates uh, have increased significantly this year. Similarly, the cost pressures from employees has increased. Um, the minimum wage and the living wage have, have both increased. Similarly, the amount that employers have to contribute to pensions under the auto-enrolment scheme, those percentages have increased, along with uh, an increase in uh, interest rates on the debt that um, certain retailers carry and Toys R Us was, was carrying quite a bit of debt. Uh, the UK arm of Toys R Us was a subsidiary of the US arm of Toys R Us and the US arm failed first but because the, the supply line uh, was intertwined with the US parent company that also um, impacted on the UK's uh, retail arm to complete can keep its supply lines going and that in turn um, you know, caused further problems for the company over and above its problems caused by the increasing costs and uh, falling revenues and those things together um, ultimately brought the the retailer down. Uh, you can tell that the model was completely broken and not possible to resurrect it because the, the company ultimately went into liquidation, there was no buyers came forward to try to resurrect the brand because the business model was broken and no longer viable. <laughs>